Welcome to The Coach Sing Show, helping you work less, earn more, and reach more people through creative content marketing. Join the Coach Zingers community where the world's best coaches, therapists, authors, and speakers come together to discover the latest trends, forge powerful joint ventures, and grow their business together. Go to coachzing.com slash community to join. And now, here's your host, Doug Foresta. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Coach Zing Show. This is your host, Doug Foresta, as always, and this is the show we help you, coaches, therapists, speakers, and authors, to work less, earn more, and help more people through creative content marketing. And my guest today is Angie Fisher. We're going to be talking about systems and processes, which I can definitely say from experience that it is really important to have systems and processes and very painful if you do not, or good systems and processes, I should say. Uh, let me say a little bit about Angie. I'll bring her right on. Uh, Angie Fisher founded and created Coaching System success, success Systems in 2011 as a way to provide busy entrepreneurs with a full range of resources they need to accomplish their goals. What began as a part-time position with a full-time thriving, uh, uh, became a full-time thriving business by 2012, providing copywriting, graphic design, administrative, marketing assistance, and more to several successful coaching entrepreneurs. Over the last three years, Angie has continued to, gr- to grow a thriving business by creating a team of 15 talented support members. Coaching Success Systems provides valuable services to clients all over the world. As mother of three children and an entrepreneur, Angie understands the importance of providing solutions that will help you reduce stress, grow your personal wealth, decrease overwhelm, stabilize your business during hectic times, and find more free time to enjoy to do what you enjoy. Her passion for helping entrepreneurs succeed has led her to author several free reports providing tips you can implement today to save time, grow your business, and spend more time with those close to you. And Angie, is that the that would be the link at Coaching Success Systems? dot com forward slash coach zing actually that's a separate report um okay. we have a whole set of reports on the actual just the website coaching success systems.com okay excellent so we'll put both of them there we'll put both of those links coaching success systems.com and also coaching success systems.com forward slash coach zing angie fisher welcome to the coach Zing show hey doug thank you for having me thanks thanks for coming so let's talk about systems and processes and particularly my first question is how do systems and processes help coaches to be more successful? Oh, that's a great question, Doug. And, you know, that's something that many of our clients, they initially ask that when we talk to them because they are interested in streamlining their business more. Yeah. And, you know, we as entrepreneurs, we're, we're always seeking more clients and growing our business and providing valuable content. And, um, you know, that applies to the first day of ownership or when we're celebrating our 10th year. But creating systems and processes as early as possible and building on them as we grow, um, that just gets us ready and prepared and amped up for when we have that explosive growth that we're always striving for. Um, Because it makes that explosive growth grow much easier. Um, We all have growing pains when we transition into growth and having systems and processes in place allows you to not reinvent the wheel each time allowing you to use that extra time to continue working on the growth of your business and providing valuable content and still kind of pushing that content out to your audience so that you can be um, an expert for them. Um, It also helps you be successful in your business because it makes the experience for your client much more enjoyable. Um, It helps them feel at ease and confident when they can go through an onboarding process or when they can um, interact with you and there's good value there and it's, it's simple for them and it's sound and structured. So Angie, can you give some examples of like for a coach, what do systems and processes look like? I mean, what is it that I could implement that would help me get more organized? You know, I specific examples I would say would be, you know, to create uh, FAQ documents and operations manuals as you go along. So an FAQ may look like, you know, when your clients ask you questions or if you're working with a support team and they have some consistent questions they're asking, that's really a good hub or a base for you to have um, information and that's how you know to streamline more. If they continue asking uh, questions and the same questions, then that really is a light bulb moment that you really need to do something different uh, with how you're instructing them or guiding them or onboarding them. Um, my second tip would be definitely, definitely a project management system. 
um, my team and my business, that's basically the bread and butter of our, of our business. And it really keeps things organized and streamlined again, and the communication is flowing nice and simple. And, and back to the link that I'm providing, that link actually uh, provides a report of over 20 tips that your audience can follow when they're looking for a project management system to implement into their business. So can you, I, I guess one of, the, one of the things that you talked about, obviously, the, that, that's a great tool. Are there other, are there other tools? that you'd recommend for coaches in terms of setting up systems and processes? I would. Um, as in, you want specific, like, um, tools that I would recommend, like a specific project management system and um, video. Sure. I mean, if you're comfortable Perfect. mentioning them, that, that would be great. Yeah. I mean, that would, yeah, I know people would really appreciate that for sure. Of course. So what I use in my, um, I create a lot of training videos and instructional videos for my team and also for my clients. And, for videos, a short one is jing.com. Uh, I use it a lot. It's nice, simple, effective. Um, so that's what I would recommend for your audience. And to go through the tasks that they're doing now and repetitively, and next thing, time they do the task, click jing on, do a five-minute video that has a screen share showing how to do the task, and bam, you're done. And you can send that link um, put it in your systems and processes and also invite your team or your clients if, if it's um, applicable and they have a video knowing how to do it. Um, another tool that I use a lot in my business and I find that processes and systems uh, work really well with is fillable forms. This could be, um, you know, again, onboarding your clients and onboarding your team or um, launching a program, anything that uh, would require, would make it nice and easy for them just to plop their questions in there and, and drop them to you. The program that I use a lot, um, there's two different options. You can use Gravity Forms, and it's on the back end. Uh, we use WordPress, and so it's a plug-in right. for WordPress. Um, and then we also use kudasign.com, um, what used to be signnow.com, and both are very effective and uh, work, work really well. Um, project management system, I would say, Personally, I use Teamwork PM. Um, it's a lot more robust than others that you might find and has a lot of capabilities to grow with coaches and other entrepreneurs as their business grows. Well, actually, it's, it's interesting that you, you said as your business grows because the next question I was going to ask you is, I, I, you know, I talk to a lot of coaches and I can, I can kind of hear someone right now listening going, well, you know, maybe I'm not, you know, maybe it's too early in my business to put processes in place. And I'm curious to you, I mean, you've alluded to this, but when is the best time to do this? I mean, if, if I'm just getting started in coaching and I only have a few clients, like, should I, should I be thinking about these things now or should I wait until later down the road? Oh, no, I would start right away. You know, when you're, I don't want to say smaller, but when you're not as busy, then it's easier to implement and start these systems and processes when you're, you know, chaos is going on because you're growing and it's everything that you envisioned, but yet it's not on the back end because you don't have time to put those systems and processes in place. So if as you go and as you start, preferably day one in a perfect world, um, and you start building and doing tasks, just create those videos, create those operations manuals, create those checklists that guide people on how to do it because you can't be the only brain in the business or you're kind of putting yourself in a corner. Yeah, you know, it's, I could I could definitely speak from experience about this one. I think back to the quote unquote good old days when I had nothing but time, right? And right, so, right, and you you forget when you're first starting out as a coach, you're like, oh, you know, I'll do that later. But like you said, yeah. but later you're going to be busy delivering the coaching services and doing other things, and and so it sounds like you're saying you know the best time to start really is is now. <laughs> exactly, and you know you don't want to take the time away from later on from your clients and that all delivering all of that value because you're really going to have a choice. How am I going to spend my time setting up this to make it easier and effective or am I going to coach the client and have a one-to-one? -one? So it really is a catch-22 at that point. <laughs> How about though on the other side? What about people who, for whom you know, they are really super busy right now and they are really stressed out and they don't have the proper systems in place? You know, what would you, what would you suggest for people that they're going, oh my gosh, I just don't have time to, to actually implement all these things? And I know that's a really good question, Doug, because 
you know, even though we feel like we don't have the time, it truly is an investment to take maybe one hour, two hours, a scheduled block of time every week and make a, a video, make that checklist, because it really is an investment in your time. You do that now, and then later in two weeks, you don't have to do that again, and you can easily delegate out those tasks because you have everything in place. Uh, if you don't put those systems and processes in place and you uh, bring on a support team, then you're having to talk to them a lot more. You're having to teach them a lot more, communicate a lot more, and spend a lot more time when if you just kind of bite the bullet and do some structure and create those systems and processes, uh, then it will be much easier. And again, you can do it as you go. You know, say you're doing a blog post and you're doing this on a weekly basis. One week, just hit the record button and record what you're doing as you're doing it because you're doing it anyways at that point. Got it. Yeah, I, I think that's a, and it's a great point because you'll never get, you'll never become less busy unless you do something <laughs> <laughs> to make yourself yes. less busy. So it, yeah, I've exactly. seen people get into, they get into this rut and they get into this stuck place, right? Where they're, they're, they're too busy to not, to, to do the things that will make them less busy. But that's, that's a, it, in the long run, it, it's not, it's not a winning proposition. You're going to be, you're putting yourself into a difficult position. Exactly. And I kind of have to share a story here because I just got out of this rut again. And it's something that you have to really constantly watch yourself because I'm guilty of it. I recently had a newborn. Um, she was born in October. Congratulations. And thank you. And so I started doing things on my own again. I was doing my blogs and my videos and I was doing those tasks that my team was doing for me before. And I had a moment, a light bulb moment, probably a week and a half ago. And I'm like, what am I doing? You know, I, I really should be delegating this out because I have other things to do in my business than to, um, you know, post the blog. I need to write more blogs. Right. So it, everybody gets in that rut and it's a constant uh, battle to uh, watch yourself and catch yourself and make sure that you're spending your time how you should be. So the other, the other question I know people sometimes are, that I know goes through people's mind that I want to ask you about is people say, well, you know, it, it's expensive to set up a team and, you know, I'll, I'll get, you know, it's always like, I'll do it later kind of thing. I'm curious for you, like in your experience, is it, is it very expensive to set up a team and, and set up these processes? And can you say a little bit about that? Well, it depends on how much your time is worth because right. either you're doing it or you're having right. a team do it. So, and again, it's an investment. Um, and it, it depends on how you want to spend your time. What do you charge hourly or what do you charge for your services? Because you're taking away your time. So my um, thought process on that is it's either spend the investment on hiring a team and backing yourself out in a sense. And so then you have more and more time or you continue to stay in it and you really aren't. You're just treading water. It's not going to you know, get you out of the water. It's going to sink you down like a beach ball. Uh, more and more over time, uh, putting a team in place, investment, do it, and then later on, that beach ball is not going to come flying out of the water um, with issues and uh, you're stretched for time and, and getting unhappy and overwhelmed. I think that's a great point. It's a it's a great reframe of, well, it costs too much money, but how much is your time worth? Because you know, most coaches are charging you know at least $200 an hour, so are you paying someone? You know, are you paying someone that much money to, to, to maintain these systems and processes for you? So that's a really good point. Like how you have to think about weighing out what is it costing you to not have a team? I think that's a really great point. So I know at the top of the show we talked about, I said a little bit about you and about coaching success systems, but can you say a little bit more about specifically what you do and how you, how you're, how you help people? Sure. Um, so I have a virtual assistant team, and we have a team of 15. Um, and so we provide email marketing support, social media, uh, graphic design, including some pretty extensive sales page design. Um, we also help with administrative and um, email marketing. So a wide range of support, yet you only have one uh, point of contact, and that would be the account manager. So a great level of support, all kinds of experts backing you and supporting you, and you still only have one person to communicate with. And that's how we help coaches and entrepreneurs save more time in their business and, and in their life so they can kind of do things they enjoy again and still have growth and success. And again, people can go to coachingsuccesssystems.com 
And can you say also what is the the I know that you have a no opt in required gift at coach coaching dot com forward slash coach zing. Can can you just say uh, tell people what that is? Yeah, it's a free opt in free uh, list of twenty of over twenty tips on what to look for when your audience is looking for a project management system. It has some great things, key points to look for that you may not um, think of looking at. Angie Fisher, thank you so much for coming on the Coach Thing Show and sharing your words of wisdom. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. Well, thanks, everyone, for listening. Uh, we'll be back with more great guests, helping you to work less, earn more, and help more people through creative content marketing. Till next time, this is Doug Foresta at the Coach Thing Show. Thank you for listening to the Coach Thing Show. Subscribe to us via iTunes, and please leave us a review. It helps us grow our awesome tribe. This show is brought to you by CoachSing.com's Speak to Publish book system. If your book is stuck in your head, we can help you get it out in just a dozen hours of your time. Go to CoachSing.com for more information. Have you joined the Coach Zingers community yet? You'll get exclusive access to private mastermind calls where you can get instant marketing help from industry experts. Plus, we'll help you forge deals and partnerships with other like-minded professionals. Go to CoachSing.com community to join now. 